Hello and welcome Pisces. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Pisces, we're going to be looking into confessions, what you need to know. So this is something that somebody's been keeping from you. It could be a lover, a best friend, a family member, a secret admirer, you know, whatever it is, um, whatever they're keeping from you, their feelings, um, you know, trying to borrow some money that they know they're never going to pay back, whatever it is. <laughs> we're going to take a look into it all and find out if they're going to confess and if so, when. So keep in mind, these are still general messages. These are still general readings. So not everything will resonate with your situation. That's okay. Just take what does and don't worry about the rest. All right, Pisces. I'm filling this one. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, Pisces. We have Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. We have Temperance and we have the Three of Swords. Okay, right away, I'm kind of getting a third party situation. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. I'm just getting somebody outside of your relationship has feelings for you. Okay, and I feel like they want to tell you their feelings. I feel like they have been holding back. I feel like that's what they need to confess is how they're truly feeling to you. Um, but they're not going to do that because possibly you're in a relationship. Um, but it kind of feels like, you know, this these feelings kind of weigh heavy on this person and it kind of gets the better of them because I do feel like while they're holding back and they're not confessing yet, it kind of feels like they will be. Um, <clears throat> it feels like this person... I keep getting is focusing, trying to focus on work. You may know this person from work. Um, hmm. I keep getting you and this person have a really good, like things just flow. You have a really good vibe between the two of you. Like I said, things just kind of flow. Things just, it's like they don't take a lot of effort. Um, I feel like you may even kind of feel a spark with this person. Like something is just there. Something is different. All right. Hmm. For some of you, this could be someone from your past. Um, for others of you, it's just, you know, again, it's because you're in a relationship that, you know, that's why this person isn't reaching out just yet. Um, they're possibly waiting for you to see if this relationship ends or, you know, anything like that. For some of you, they may not wait. They may just go ahead and express it to you. Um, you know, again, it's going to be different for everybody. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, again, I do feel like something about timing, timing, divine timing. Um, I, again, I keep getting a lot of happiness. I keep getting things just flowing with this person, just like really effortlessly. Okay, so clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely a strong tie between you and this person. Um, I feel like they're kind of struggling to keep moving forward. Like they're struggling to, I keep getting struggling with their independence. It's like they want to come across as they're really independent. Like, you know, they're, um, they're on top of their game. They've got everything, you know, the, you know, go inform something like that. But it's like, what they're hiding is definitely their feelings. Um, I keep getting like, you know, Pisces, I can't stop thinking of you. Um, I keep getting struggling. I keep getting, you know, like feeling that intense connection, but again, struggling to, because they can't, they can't make it happen. They can't, they feel like they can't tell you just yet. Um, for some of you, this is a Sagittarius. For others of you, you're already with a Sagittarius. Um, but somehow Sagittarius plays a role in this, possibly. Um, they don't have to. It's just that's going to be a sign for somebody. That's going to be confirmation for somebody. So again, you do not have to be dealing with a Sagittarius. It's just extra confirmation for somebody. All right, so we have King of Swords. We have the Empress. One more, please, for Pisces. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, so definitely kind of needing to make a choice. <laughs> um, I do feel like you are compatible with one person more than you are the other. Um, it almost kind of feels like this is a secret love affair. These are secret feelings. Like this person is like your secret admirer, but it almost kind of feels like you have feelings for them too. Uh, like I said, it, it's kind of an intense connection. You know, a lot of fire, a lot of passion here with the King of Swords. Again, I, I keep getting like there's two people. 
Um, I also keep getting that, you know, you're kind of, I feel like you, in a way it's like you're kind of looking for a new beginning or you're thinking about a new beginning. But I do feel like communication is going to be very important here. And I do feel like this person is going to confess because they can't hold it back any, any longer. All right, Pisces. Let's clarify that Three of Swords, please. Three of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. So something could have been kind of one-sided in the past. Or again, this is talking about your current relationship. And that's why this person hasn't come forward yet. That's why this person is just kind of keeping things to themselves. We have judgment. Like I said, wanting a second chance. Um, so, you know, this could be someone that, you know, again, you've already, you already know. Maybe you already have some kind of connection to this person. It does feel like you know this person, of course. Um, but there's a lot of happiness. There's, I keep getting a lot of tension between you and somebody um, and look at this so bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups right bottom of this deck knight of cups Pisces there's some people or at least one person dying to come in to express their feelings um, clarifying that three of swords again ten of cups judgment six of pentacles for some of you you have two people <laughs> that want to come in to say you know hey Pisces like you caught my eye um, you know can we take this somewhere you know can this can this go somewhere between us do you feel the same um, like I feel the spark with you do you feel the spark with me type of situation um, for others of you like I said it could be you're already in a relationship and there's like an outsider you know who who wants to make their feelings be known and, and it gets it just kind of feels like whoever this person is however the situation is it feels like their emotions are really kind of weighing on them it's like Pisces I really want to reach out I really want to just get this off my chest and tell you I feel content with you I feel absolutely amazing with you you know, I feel like we are like um, a really good balance. I feel like we complement each other. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's getting harder and harder for this person to hold back their feelings. All right. I want to get some Oracle cards, please. We have conclusions. So you could be getting some kind of insight, some kind of answers here. Somebody, like I said, is kind of opening up what they've been keeping a secret, what they needed to confess. Possibly more than one person. <laughs> Somebody is like really, I keep getting like Pisces. You are like, um, and I just keep getting change of energy, um, received material world. So this could possibly be someone that you work with. Um, this could be someone who is really kind of like maybe was a workaholic or just kind of trying to put themselves into like their financial situation, um, trying not to focus on their feelings for you, but it's like that. It's not helping. Like it did not make anything go away. So we do have commitment here. And I do feel like it's because for one, um, there's a commitment somehow, whether it's this person wants a commitment with you or you are already in a commitment. Um, but there's grief grief and vibrations around the bottom. So again, I'm feeling like some sadness. I'm feeling that grief to where for some of you, you have a past with this person. This is someone from your past that wants to reconnect, that knows they shouldn't have let you go, that wants to fix this, that wants to tell you, Pisces, I do have a lot of feelings for you. For some reason back then, you know, I, I couldn't tell you why. Maybe it's because I was afraid. Maybe it's because, um, you know, I don't know. I keep getting like a lot of things going on. I just feel like this person could have been afraid, could have been possibly not in the best place because I keep getting like lacking stability. Um, but again, we have commitment. So either you're already in a commitment and that's why this person is kind of staying silent or this person wants to have a commitment this time around. But like I said, I do feel like somewhere along the lines, healing had to take place for this person before they could come out and express everything that they want to. Um, hmm. I keep getting a situation too, where I keep getting like somebody's, um, wanting to come out, kind of, you know, express their, their sexual preference. Um, you know, kind of express who they really are because they've been hiding it. Um, but it kind of feels like, you know, there was that spark between you and this person, but they denied it because 
they were in a sense kind of denying themselves because they weren't ready to come out to the world, especially possibly their family. And, you know, because when they're not okay to come out to themselves to, you know, accept that, accept who they are, you know, there's obviously some stuff going on there. So again, obviously that's not going to resonate for everybody, but I do feel like that's kind of something that's going on here because it's coming out. It feels really important here that you need to know. All right, let's go ahead and let's get some more Oracle cards. Yeah. Yeah, Pisces, I'm just feeling like this person feeling really, really in love with you. Um, set sail adventures. Yeah, this person is ready to move forward. This person is ready to um, make their move. This person's ready. I keep getting to start over, kind of like the full card. All right, so we have manifesting money. We have working through the pain. Bottom of the deck, we have toxic karmic. So manipulation and control and then love bound. This is kind of telling me maybe you were in a karmic relationship or maybe you're currently dealing with a karmic. You know, again, everybody's situation is differently. Um, but, you know, that's kind of why this person or maybe that person was dealing with a karmic and needed to finish that out. Um, Any way it goes, you know, things have to unfold naturally. Uh, manifesting money, again, this person, it kind of feels like they had to really put themselves like into work mode or something because it feels important. It kind of feels also like a way of drowning out their feelings for you and kind of ignoring the situation for a while. I'm just going to focus on work. I'm going to focus on my material well-being, on my money. And it just feels like, you know, again, it, it didn't make it go away because this person's still working through the pain. This person is still feeling a lot of grief, a lot of sadness because they're ready to embark on some kind of adventure with you. They're ready to take that risk and really kind of just open up and say, okay, Pisces, you know, this is what I've been holding on to. And it's time that I, you know, get this off my chest. All right, we have courage. Yeah, it feels like this person, like I said, fear played a big part um, with this person. So now it kind of feels like they are definitely coming across um, as, you know, with courage. Bottom of the deck, we have inspiration, which is kind of like the Ace of Wands. Um, they're feeling inspired. They're feeling like it's time. Their courage is out there ready to roar uh, with protection and answers. Like I said, I do feel like this person is ready to come in. This person, it kind of does feel like this person has been very protective over you. Um, but it feels like it's been that way from afar. So I'm not sure what that means, but that's kind of coming across. Um, hmm. I also keep getting like protecting the connection. So again, I don't know how or why, but that's coming across, but it is. Um, with answers, again, this person wants communication. They want to, you know, say what's really going on, why they're feeling this, what they're feeling. You know, they, they just want to, they're ready to get it out. They're ready to see how you feel. And, you know, can we fix this? Can we fix this? Can we do this? Like Pisces, I have been waiting for you. All right, so now let's get a time frame on when this person, we know they want to confess for sure. They just got to find the courage to do it. So we have make up for lost time. Okay, so it kind of feels like once this happens, the two of you are going to be making up for lost time. Okay, we also have December. Okay, this one is actually sticking out to me. Um, the time is right. I was going to take one more card, but this one just, I don't know, it, it really stuck out to me. Um, it does feel like the time is right. It does feel like this person's going to be coming to, towards you. Um, it does feel like, you know, again, this person's ready to make up for lost time. They feel like they've wasted too much time is when I keep getting. They feel like, you know, too much time has passed. Um, or like, you know, they just, I keep getting, I've wasted so much time, Pisces. Um, with December, again, it could possibly be, you know, in December, could be um, around the holidays. I kind of keep getting something about, like, fall time. Um, so, I am i don't know. I'm, another sign got that, too, but I can't think of who it, who that was. Um, maybe an earth sign? Not sure. But around Christmas time... Or, you know, again, just the month of December, again, possibly just around holidays. Um, whenever the person feels like the time is right, they're going to make their move. They're going to confess these true feelings that they've had for you this entire time, Pisces. So, 
All right, well, that is what's coming through. So hopefully this helps, gives you some insight. Um, be looking forward to definitely some love coming your way from po possibly more than one person. So, <laughs> all right, Pisces, thank you to each and every one of you guys for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, as always, have a great rest of your week and take care.